Well, here it is, day four up in the Yukon. This is incredibly beautiful country. Here with Liz Brandt. Actually, Paul's going to be in another boat fishing. Liz is going to be in my boat fishing. We're going to do a little lake trout fishing. You can catch grayling and fish for some pike. You know, they offer so many different opportunities up here at Dalton Trail Lodge. You can do something different every day of your vacation up here. And today's certainly an adventure. Glad you could join us. Coming up. Country Music's Paul Brandt, along with his wife Liz, join Bob on a Yukon adventure that is second to none. With access to more than 20 lakes and rivers with 12 different species to fish for, Dalton Trail Lodge is the ideal base for this week's episode of Real Fishing. Miles of untouched wilderness, clear, pristine waters, and plenty of wildlife, the Yukon is truly an angler's dream. Cameras come out, things change, Liz. It's not well, as it's easy. because I'm riding in your boat. Here it comes. Whoa. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that big laser. Yeah. Ah, huge. Oh, baby. That thing is a monster. Whoa. <laughs> the Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Look at those teeth. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Bob and Zuby! Alright. Woohoo! Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Alright. Look at the size of this bed. Real fishing is sponsored by Chevrolet. Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. Hey, folks, that's what I call real fishing. Every place we've been looks like a, like a postcard, doesn't it? What happens is you get very competitive. I'm not competitive, Bob. You're not? No. Okay. I'm not competitive. The color to use is orange. Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to put one of these on. It's a power manic shad. Yeah, this fishing stuff, we haven't caught one in four, four seconds here yet. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this called? This is jigging? No, when trolling. Tro no, when you were moving your... Oh, yeah, I'm just making sure there's, uh, my bait's not fouled up and I can feel my rod tip. In the case of this lure here, my rod tip's vibrating. In your case, I've you've got, got something. a fish. In your case, your rod is bad with a fish. <laughs> I don't think this is a big fish. I'll no? tell you right now. Hopefully I haven't snagged my husband's line. <laughs> I think so. Once again, you are either the best or the luckiest angler on this trip so far because you've caught so many big fish in the last couple of days. All right, light trout. Okay. okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Those air bubbles coming out. All right, beauty. Now, it's all barbless hooks up here, so as you can see. <laughs> Too bad you didn't get that one. <laughs> no, that it, counts. It counts. I, it counts. Yeah, One for Liz, this is the bomb. Okay, here we go, here we go. There, there, oh, I missed him. Yep. See, now, the other day somebody told me, and I mean, I, I don't mean to give you advice or anything here, Bob, but they said, you know, really let them get up on it before you set it. <laughs> so I think maybe you should try that. That doesn't sound like a country song. That's sounds like a rap song, I think. <laughs> Got one. Okay, I can see it coming now. The Liz Brandt Unreal Fishing Show. This could be a big fish. Okay, take your time, Liz. Let's tighten your drag up a bit. Okay. Just tighten it up a bit. You'll have to help me and show me how to do that on one of these Shimano. Yeah, that's good. You don't want to twist your line too much. Feel pretty good? I think so, yeah. I'm just going to get my line. Oh, nope. It's off. Positive. He just loves it. <laughs> you 
are something else, Liz. Oh. Oh, I saw it. So that one counted. Did anyone else see that fish? I did. It's you, Bob. The cameras come out and things change, Liz. It's not no, as it's easy. it's because I'm riding in your boat. You've caught the biggest lake trout on two different lakes. You've got big pike. Let's face it. Ow. The mosquitoes are biting though good for you, aren't they? <laughs> yes, they are. They're rising everywhere here. Okay. You got them? Now I got one. All right. Keep the pressure. <laughs> Sometimes they start swimming towards me, and that's when I lose them. Oh, you got an Arctic railing. All right. I'll get them. You going to show them to us? No. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay, thanks for showing us. <laughs> Those are slippery little suckers. They are the hardest fish to hold on that I've ever fished for. Really? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I had them pretty tight and he was gone. Yes, they are very hard. There we go. Okay, there we are. Aren't they the coolest looking fish though, Liz? They're awesome. I got one. You got one too? Yeah. You got a lake trout. Look at that. So we're just going to flip this one back in. Okay. Oh, lake trout. Good stuff, girl. Good stuff. Now, Paul should be up here fly fishing. All those fish rising. Oh, good stuff. Way to go. Oh, he gave you a, a little, little, oh, uh, what did he give you? A snort? A little snort or yeah, something. Yeah, the old lake coat. You definitely had him hook well. There you go. Good there stuff. Go. Way to go. Oh, oh nice release. The old, <laughs> the old squirt release. <laughs> he squirted out of your hands. Yes, he did. That was funny. All right. This girl is a fishing machine, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back as she continues to just keep catching them and catching them. What kind of music do you like? Um, well, Paul Brand, of oh, course. Good. Bob and Liz head into a shallow bay to sight fish for some big toothy pike. That's like 45 inch long fish. Where did he come from? Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Sight fishing to large, visible game fish is undeniably the greatest thrill in angling. At one time or another, nearly every type of fish can be caught this way and by a variety of methods, including ice fishing. In the shallows, even smaller fish can provide a rush of adrenaline and an unforgettable experience. Success at this game is a matter of spotting them before they spot you. Always wear polarized sunglasses and scan well ahead of yourself. Looking upwards fish see above water through a conical window of view. To us, it's a confusing perspective of underwater structure, reflected images, and floating objects. Even so, anglers stepping into this window are clearly visible. Better to draw fish in from beyond their feet of above water vision and then hope they don't make you once there. Keeping body movement to a bare minimum is vital. If you're in a boat, this means putting some distance between yourself and the fish. To get closer to the action, put on a pair of waders and get right into it. With a light foot, move about slowly and you'll really sneak up on them. It's one of Bob's favorite ways of taking fish. And by sticking to heavy cover, you can enjoy a front row seat every time. That's exactly how we film for this part of the show. Strange as it may seem, fish don't consider you a great threat when they see you on their level. Just a two-hour drive from Whitehorse, Dalton Trail Lodge is in the southwest part of the Yukon, bordering Kulani National Park. Although remote, the lodge offers luxury accommodations, gourmet meals, and first-class service. Look at the eagle right here. <laughs> I let that one take it. Liz, this one's for you. What'd you catch, Bob? I'm going to say it's Mr. Grayley. Mr. Arctic Grayley. Look at the coloration on that. Wow. Phenomenal. Isn't that something? Oh, that ever smells. 
That's the ticket right there. What's happening, Liz? Well, I, I've got something. I don't know what it is. Oh, a little grayling. All right. Pretty little gl grayling. One of the funnest kids fish to catch. They are fun, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. Well, he's off. Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, they're all over in here, Bob. You've got to catch one. Today. Okay, you think I'll get one? Yeah, I do. Thanks. Okay, how about right now, first cast? Oh, Dropped whoop. it in. I think we have... Oh, I lost it. I think, I think I've got a bait on that you're going to be begging for one in a yeah, minute. Yeah, you're probably right. I, I'm not kidding you. That was the first cast of this gulp. Oh, got one. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's just cutting the water like a shark. <laughs> It's a sailfish. <laughs> Wonderful. Look at the colors on that. Wonderful. You know, for a girl that doesn't fish that much, you sure do have this uh, down to a science girl. Yeah, except the release part. <laughs> yeah, but you know. That's not down to a science <laughs> yet. I mean, I'm just going to tell myself it's just those grayling. Liz, you are a machine. Your husband, Paul, told me you're the luckiest angler around, girl. Another grayling. These grayling must really feed the pike that are in the back of this bay that we're going to make it to. Okay. Do you want to see it? This is the release shot you're going to give us, right? I'm going to try. Okay, this will be good. I can't wait. Yep. Ah! The old squirt and release. <laughs> so is that five or four for me? You wait till we get in the pike bay. I'm not going to help on that one. I'm just going to get aggressive. <laughs> You'd like some deep woods up. Yeah, get it out. It's pretty thick. You'll have to take my rod, though, if I get a bite, Bob. That is the perfume of the north right there, girl. Time to get comfortable for the pike. I'm going to try to catch our sales of big old northern pike now. Pike, lakers, and grayling all in the same shallow bay. Hey, there's something Yeah? There. Oh, this is good. I see fish everywhere through the there he comes. Come on, baby. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> that was funny. It's like fishing the flats, isn't it? It's uh, crystal clear water. Looking for those pike. Oh, he come off. He come off. Yeah, and just let it sit. And then you kind of want to just let it glide through the water and then let it sink down again. Turn it. He's turning. He's got it. He's got it. Set. Good stuff. You are good, girl. You are good. You're amazing. You are something else. <laughs> sight fishing for northern pike. So she beats me trolling. She beats me sight fishing with the uh, with the Berkeley soft baits. Man, oh man. Okay, but I have to say, that was, that I'm not touching a pike because I hear they bite. Oh, they don't bite. They, that took a lot of skill. Here, just a little bit less line. Huh? Okay. Okay, I'll get them for you. Nice pike. All right. What do you do, Bob? Well, these... I'm just they do have big teeth, don't they? Yeah, but there you go, girl. All right. Good stuff. Nice. Hey, Liz. That was awesome, the way you sight fish this pike up. You, uh... That was fun. <sighs> way to go, girl. Nice, clean hand. Thanks, Bob. Remnants of pike. Yes. Now, would you like another one of those uh, realistic uh, sinky minnows? I would love one of those. That worked like... <laughs> I know. I liked how you twitched great. it and worked it, you know? Now, these were originally designed for bass, but uh, they're great sight fishing for pike in the shallow, clear water. I'll try not to hook your hand. Oh, that's good. Thank you. You know, it was funny because you watched that fish for, for about 30 seconds before you caught it. That was pretty cool. That's cool. I was working on three other fish when you caught that one, but mine just didn't didn't like the mojo that I was giving them. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. We're leaving it exposed a bit so we can get the hook in. Okay. Okay, out we go again. Let's get at her. It's fun fishing when you can see. Isn't this something? Yeah, it's like hunting. Yeah, you like this? Yes, I do. I'm going to do the Liz Brandt technique. Up next, Liz shows off her technique to Bob. You are something else. <laughs>
This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. I want to show you a typical assortment of some things to bring on a fly-in fishing trip. Good polarized sunglasses. You want something that can cut the glare. When it comes to bug repellent, some of these towelettes or some regular deep woods off, some spare fishing line, both some fire line and regular trilene. And you should pack some of this in lieu of uh, live bait, gulp alive. Also a bunch of gulp and power bait in soft baits. You might even consider if you're drift fishing, Bring one of these uh, wave tamers. These are great for slowing you down, especially on windy conditions. Also, these big Ziploc bags. You can carry all your extra clothes, like some gloves and a hat if it's uh, you know early season or late season. And that's about it. There's nothing like getting on one of these trips and not having the right tools of the trade. And I'll tell you what, if you've got all the right equipment with you, you get a lot more enjoyment out of your next outing. I'm going to do the Liz Brandt technique. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I lost him. <laughs> See what's happening? She's got me all shook up because she's out fishing me. And now I'm making novel, I mean, sorry, not novel. I'm making typical amateur mistakes. I set the hook there. Uh, not quite good enough. And my jerk shad got eaten. These type of baits are probably the easiest shallow water pike fishing baits to use. They're a new saltwater, a 7-inch jerk shad. In fact, your husband and I really caught a lot of pike the other day on the larger version of these made out of gulp. There he is. Have you got it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> All right. And look, at, look at this. It just fell well, out. Oh, that's perfect, eh? <laughs> There's something else. He ate that bait, didn't he? Hey, Liz, you know what I really like about these baits? What? is when one takes it and it's swimming away like this. Yes. And I set the hook, I get them. <laughs> Good work. Oh, I lost Oh, them. Bob. <laughs> Spoke too soon. You know, that goes to show you that you can never be too cocky when it comes to successful fishing. That was cockiness extraordinaire coming out of me. Got it. You are something else. <laughs> Liz, you want to know the real truth? What's the real truth? I've been truth? doing this show for 24, 25 years now, and I've never had a female outfish me sight fishing for pike ever. Really? That's my specialty. Do you ever have them, though, get scared of picking it up because uh, they have teeth? Oh, that's a nice one. That's right. I would like to learn how to pick it up so I don't get bit. You would. Yes, I would. Well, let me pull the sinking minnow out first. That, there we go. You caught Scarface. <laughs> you can see these scars here. <laughs> Way awesome. to go. That is so cool. What'd you, how'd you do awesome. that? What'd you do? Just feed it to it? Slow? I just teased him. Oh, I That's see. That's all I did. Well, watch. Watch this. This is cool. You know, one of the things that, that up here in the Yukon, too, a lot of folks don't realize is, you know, we're on a, a lake that we came in by ATV. And we came in quite a ways, too, I think 17 kilometers. What an adventure. It was just, that was, that was worth the price of admission without even fishing. But these pike are very old and very fragile. And so it's important to put them back. And I know that, you know, they do really good fish management at uh, Dalton Trail Lodge. And uh, that's just a case in point. Like that pike there could have been, that could be a 10, 12 year old fish, easy. Really? Maybe even 15 years old. And you know how to fool those old buggers into hitting, so. Well, it's fun. Yeah? I'm having a blast. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Stay tuned, we'll be right back fishing with the real fishing machine, Liz Brandt, after this. So that's what it feels like. Bob shows us how to rig a gulp jerk shad, and we come across some Yukon wildlife. Stay tuned. What I've got here is a soft plastic uh, jerk bait. It's a power bait jerk shad, five inch, and uh, you know just a wide gap hook, wire leader. You got to use a wire leader for pike, really. I'm rigging it just exposed a bit. 
just like that. And there's a fish right Right there. out there. Right yeah. there. That one? Yeah, that's the one. I just got behind it. Oops. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Mr. Pike. Ooh, that's a big one. Mr. Pike. It's amazing, these pike up here, um, when you've got just thousands of grayling and lake trout out there surfacing, right? And these pike have got so much food at their disposal. I'm just trying to get that leader wrapped around. Now, you're asking how to grab them. A lot of guy, people do not like grabbing pike because they can chew your hand up. But this is... This pike here, this size, I slid my hand right up under the gill plate. Okay. Um, okay. I'll just pop this hook out of there like oh, so. Cool. But I'm holding them under the gill plate, but not in the gills. The gill rakers will really cut up your hands. So what you want to do is, is just, and even, even with doing that, I still get my hand a little bit uh, chewed up, but not bad. But for uh, yourself, I don't recommend it, or, or even your husband who, you know, plays a guitar. Yeah. I don't think he'd be really good uh, good for his music. No. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, yeah. That one's a trophy fish. That's, that's like massive. that's like 45-inch long fish. Where did he come from? I don't know. What a great way to end our trip up here in the Yukon to see a big cow moose and her two babies. Liz, what do you think? Awesome. Wasn't that something yes, else? Yes, that was something else. I, you know, according to Hardy, he thinks that those things had just been born like within hours because they were so small. Talk about an adventure. Come on up to the Yukon if you want something that'll just, it'll blow your mind. Fresh air, incredible scenery, wildlife, great place to stay, Dalton Trail Lodge. Yes. They got it all right up here in the Yukon. Liz, thanks a lot. Thanks, Appreciate Bob. I've it. had a blast. Liz is kind of um, a little bit competitive, and uh, she is just a, a great fisherwoman. She's done an incredible job um, up here, and, and uh, she kind of rubs it in just a little bit. Sorry about that, Bob. Oh, I feel so much better that I caught another pike. Two, two now, hey? Well, if you're counting, it is, but... Oh, just... we're counting. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I've never had a female outfish me sight fishing for pike ever. Really? That's my specialty. <laughs> Good work. Oh, I lost oh, them. Bob. <laughs> They said, you know, really let them get up on it before you set it. So I think maybe you should try that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> This is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. Whoa! <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah! Wow. <laughs> Woo that was too cool. Oh, man, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs> yes!